Now, refining of petroleum is and where is an important step. The, the diagram which I am showing here is not given in the NCRT book, but this is a diagram which will make you understand that how is the refining of petroleum done. In this, you are seeing that there is a long column which is called the fractionating column. In this, there are different pipes you are seeing and in front of each pipe there are different names given so these are the different substances which are obtained during extraction of during the purification of petroleum so what is the rule of what is the simple principle the oil is crude oil is taken in in a furnace it is taken in a pipe and then it is heated in this chamber after that it is then passed into the next chamber which is called the fractionating column these are changed into vapors at high temperature and these vapors start rising up they start rising up inside the furnace and then at different stages they cool down when these vapors cool down they come out at different temperatures from different openings and then we get the different fractions so in this diagram you can see at different pipes different names are given and different components are given with pictures this will help you to remember that which substance is obtained at which part so at the bottom part of the furnace you are seeing that there is a this lower part of the furnace a liquid which is called the waste of the crude oil is obtained which is asphalt it is used for making roads above it there is diesel then there is kerosene then and kerosene and then petroleum and then last at the top you are seeing there is LPG the petroleum gas so these are the vapors which are obtained at the top at the top part of the furnace the vapor is obtained whose boiling point is lowest and at the bottom part of the furnace those substances whose boiling point is the highest they are obtained in your book the temperatures are mentioned so you have to mainly remember that how is it how is the refining done so refining is done by passing it into a fractionating column which has different chambers when the vapors rise up they cool down and they start cooling down when the vapor reaches a particular temperature pipe they cool down and then they are the part of the vapor is removed the other parts of the vapor keep rising up and they keep reaching a particular range of temperature where they condense and they are separated from the fractionating column this is how petroleum is refined